Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to speed up your Lenovo computer, specifically if it's running Windows 11, but this tutorial will work for Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10 computers. So if your laptop, tablet, computer, desktop running Windows is experiencing problems such as a slow boot up, you're having issues with the screen flickering, unresponsive applications, the computer has blank screens, boot loops, a lot of error messages. Well, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to right click on the Start button and select Task Manager. Select the Startup tab. And now you can normally disable most of the apps listed in here. So unless they are a printer or some sort of Unless they are an antivirus or some sort of application you need to start every time your computer boots up, you can usually safely disable them. So, for example, let's say Microsoft OneDrive. If you don't use OneDrive to sync files with different computers, you can just select it here and then select the Disable button. And you can do that for pretty much everything listed in here, again, except for an antivirus program. We're not actually uninstalling anything by disabling it. We're just preventing it from turning on every time the computer turns on. You can still manually open it up, but the only reason you have something enabled in here is if it was going to be a little bit more responsive or open up right when your computer opens up, which isn't necessary for most programs. So I usually come in here and disable stuff. That's one of the first things I do when I open up a new, fresh Windows installation. So I would come in here and actually disable most of the items in here especially the stuff you, you never use. That's pretty easy to go with. And if you see any browsers and stuff, you can disable that. And if you ever want to change your mind, you can just come back in here and select Enable. So not too difficult, I would say. Something else you can try here too, if you open up the Start menu and search for Apps, Best Results, check the back of Apps and Features. Go ahead and open that up. And another good thing you could try here, clear out unused applications. So if you have programs that may have been installed with your Windows installation on Lenovo, like bundled applications, you can just go ahead and select the three dotted icon next to it and select uninstall. So this will remove programs, freeing up additional hard drive space. And if some of these programs have tasks that run in the background, like updaters, and they might connect to their server every once in a while to transmit data from your computer, by removing it, you just clear all that up and there's less internet traffic coming back and forth for your programs, and that will have some effect on performance, you would think. So that's something else I'd recommend trying there. A further thing, if you go ahead and open up the search menu, type in adjust, and then select adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Go ahead and lock click on that. Set this to adjust for best performance, and then select apply. Please note that some of the performance settings here, you're going to lose a little bit of your graphical settings, so it's going to not look as great when you're browsing your computer. And if you decide that you want to re-enable some of these settings, you can just actually customize it by going and checkmarking certain boxes. So you can kind of play around with it here. So let's say you want to show the content of a window while you're moving it around. You can just select where it says show windows contents while dragging and keep that checkmarked. Select apply and you see now it remains there. So you don't have to necessarily do a, an all or nothing kind of situation, but again, play around with it in here. There are descriptions as to each one of these boxes as to what it does. So it should be pretty easy for you to walk through and figure out what your personal preferences are. So again, this is something I'd recommend trying. Another thing, if you open up the search menu once again and type in control panel, best result should go back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. Say your view by the large icons, and then you want to select where it says power options. Go ahead and left click on that. And then you want to select the high performance plan. So if you don't see, you might have to expand show additional plans and select high performance, favors performance, but may use more energy. So if you're on a laptop device, it may require more battery usage, but on a desktop, it really shouldn't mean that much of a difference, honestly. And even on a laptop, you can change it to higher performance, but just expect to get a little bit less battery there. You can also try adjusting your brightness settings too and turn them down so that'll use less energy. So close out of here. Something else you can try here as well would be to open up disk cleanup. Go ahead and select that from the best match listing here. And then you want to select clean up system files. And now you want to go select OK. Are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? Go ahead and select delete files.
And then once that's done, go ahead and open up the search again. Type in defrag. Best result should go back with the Fragment and Optimized Drives. Go ahead and open that up. Select your drive where Windows is installed on, and you can select other drives as well. And then you'd select the Optimize button. Please note if you have an SSD, it won't actually let you defrag it, but it will let you optimize it though, which is fine. doesn't really matter. Windows will know what your hard drives are, and it won't let you do what you shouldn't do if you have an SSD. So again, it should be a pretty straightforward process on that. And once you're done, you can close out of here. With the just also going back to the search, type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now I recommend typing in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter the keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. And once that's done, close out of here, and you want to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully I was able to speed up your Lenovo laptop, computer, tablet, basically any sort of Lenovo device. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.